Okay, so we're looking at the F fretboard here, and I was just explaining that the E box, the C box, the G box, the D box, and these labels here, and all the numbers, if you could just move them back and forth without moving the notes at all. So let's say three would go to this three over here, and everything else would move over, but the notes would say the same. That would that's how it is that's the fretboard conveyor belt kind of thing um, so these same relationships exist no matter where the numbers are you just move the numbers up and down and move the box um, limits up and down along with it well we can't do that because I don't have enough graphics to do that right now so we might as well just you know look at what we got here the next box up is the D box, okay? And we talked about that. So we've got a D-shaped root in F. We've got a G-shaped B-flat right there. And we've got an A-shaped C right there, 257. Whoa, what's 257? I don't know. But if I told you G-C-E, would, would that ring the bell? G, C, E, first and uh, second inversion, C. Well, let's look at the other box. But in that, in that box, before we look at the other box, the third box up, which is the fun box, which is the C box. The modal, the modals, okay? <laughs> the modals. The same modals as before. something like from here then we're gonna go to that B flat E G okay the modals are here starting on a D shaped if we have a D shaped root here there's gonna be right here the here's the characteristic of the D box the D shaped root here um, but there are other D, you know, things that are part of that D shape. So we can uh, start on a second inversion. Um, this is this is root. So we're going to go three five root right there. It's a first inversion D shape. Then root three five is just a little um, arpeggiated, an arpeggiated root. Then we go five root three there's a second inversion so this is this is root this uh, root three fives root now where's first inversion three five root then five root three is an actual chord so the only root chords in in the D box are three five and root which is first inversion five root three we have left over from the e root this is the e root it shares in the box in the d box we have the same root being shared by the e and by the d because this is the d box encompasses this and anyway we have our second inversion up there okay so the way that these go is root is is uh, F it's D shaped from the D box remember this is the E stuff here's the D box up a pentatonic scale E minor shaped G minor where's that guy E well just look where your E minor is so you know the 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 uh, the, the finger bar goes here to make that D right so our E minor is going to be 6, 2, 4. Let's look what those notes are. D, G, and B flat. Second inversion, G minor. Then we have a G minor shaped A minor. Okay, G minor shaped A minor. Let's look in the box for a G minor shaped. Well, it looks to me like we're going to have to go 3, 5, 7 because four can only go to six, and that's a major. So it's A, C, and E. 
that's a root A minor chord and saying here it's a G minor shaped A minor right there root and that's probably low that's it three five seven all right G shaped B flat remember we just did a G minor shape starting on that three to the five to the seven now the G shape in the three four relationship is going to start on the fourth B flat D to um, and then you know so we've got a major and then the minor okay to make a major chord you have a major third to a minor third you just move that third and uh, down one and you have a minor third to a major third for a minor chord so here it is B flat D and F root shape B flat chord there all right so it's a G shaped fifth fourth blah, blah. now remember G shaped fourth why is it G shaped because it says right there G four so you got a G shaped four remember the double fours the doubles are going to be a G shape right so here's that B minor uh, B flat all right so it's going to go like this right Now notice I'm borrowing, borrowing it from the two. Am I doing that right? Now if you wanted to do patterns from there, remember uh, that G if I'm doing this correctly we're over here right we're doing this G shape fourth in the D box so it's definitely gonna go from that two to the four because G shape always starts on the sixth the relative to that fourth so the relative to that B flat is G okay so that's gonna be if we wanted to translate that into our patterns G is the sixth of B flat, so it would be six root relative now, relative to that B flat, not relative to F. So it'd be six root two five, uh, two let's see six root okay two three four six root two three four five six seven root two so here's the yes here's the dorian okay this is the top part of the uh of the s2l all right the uh three five six two so it's six two then we start um three okay so let's look at what we're doing here we've got the two going to the four there in the G shape right now G shape remember just look at the B flat on its own this is the B flat here okay the G shape always has E when you play a um, when you play the uh, open you play an open G in regular tuning the E becomes the sixth of that G. So <clears throat> we're playing this, and we're going to do a pentatonic. We're not going to do the well. We can do the diatonic. It, it'll catch. It'll catch the Dorian fourth. It will. The Dorian fourth of that uh, is not. It, it's not going to be E flat. The Dorian fourth is going to be E natural, which is the leading tone to have. So we've got, uh, bottom line is sixth of B flat, root of B flat, okay? Uh, I have to check my, uh, okay, let's just look at this for a second. We've got six going to root, right? So remember this.